Hi, my name is Naya Bali and the name of this channel is Yabi's Own. If you do not know much about me now, then now you would know. I'm a Ghanaian living currently in Budapest. I've been living in Budapest for a couple of years now. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you some of the weirdest, most random, sometimes annoying things that have happened to me in Budapest. So if you're interested in hearing all of this tea, then kindly stick and stay and watch till the end of the video. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned about the situation where in the very few months of my arrival here, I was in a tram. I was in the tram 46 going home and just at about the point where I was supposed to get up, these men, they looked very drunk. They actually moved to the part of the tram where I was sitting and I wanted to get out, but I sort of was not fast enough to get out before they came there. So I was like, oh my God, how am I going to get down? Because it had crowded around me. The part where I was sitting was quite near the window. Okay, actually all the seats are near the window. So they just crowded around that area and so it was time for me to get up. I got up and I just noticed that one just touched my ass. I was so freaking annoyed. I had just come here fresh and I was at my stop and the door was open for me to get up and I was I froze for a minute and then I just glared at them I looked at them if only looks could kill I'm sure they would have died that day and so ever since then I purpose in my heart that I'm not going to be abused or taken advantage of like that so the next time this thing happened it was in this subway called Blaha and Blaha is actually known as one of the quite rowdy parts of Budapest so I had descended the stairs down the subway and this man just, he and his friend, they just walked past me and as they walked past me, I just noticed his hand hit my ass. And you know when somebody intentionally tries to do something unintentionally and you notice, I was so pissed because I had really put that man from the few years back down waiting for the next culprit and this man brought himself and I just gave him a smack on his back. And under normal circumstances, if you have done something wrong, and somebody is retaliating you do what you would look at the person or ask the person like what are you doing like you but you know he knew what he had done so he did not react he did not react this man kept walking and i told him off and then i was like next time i told him my mind and i felt very good i won't be taken up like that again so uh, that situation was like i think about two years back or two but aside that there are parts of budapest where you walk in you be cut cold sometimes you just be at the bus stop and then cars will be passing by and then people will be shouting whoop whoop or people will be shouting wow so people will be shouting beautiful or people will shouting jean jorubaj jean jorubaj in hungarian means you're beautiful like people just shout and oh my goodness sometimes you can be at the bus stop and people are just shouting from their cars like it's rude i think it's not cute at all okay so that's one of the things that happen and also there are parts of budapest where you walk and you be cut cold like you are walking and people are also doing the same things that people in these their cars would be doing like or some just look at you glare at you and make unnecessary utterances towards you so those are some of the annoying things that happen now back to the ass whooping matter just last week okay just last week my friend and i again in blaha ha we were walking towards blaha or something or we had to pick a tram from blaha and we got to just a few minutes a few minutes to the subway again this man just fingered my ass <laughs> i felt his finger on touching my ass i don't know if he was touching to feel it whether it was real whether it was a bb or whether it was a silicone say are you a surgeon and i wasn't fast enough to notice because we're moving in the opposite direction so you know i was so angry i was so angry and i just told my friend you know what this guy he just hit my ass and i just turned and then i I just told my mind i don't think he heard okay so we just descended the subway and when we descended this guy this feminine looking guy just came towards us he was singing the song remember those walls are built and he actually had a nice voice and me i wasn't even paying attention to him. my friend was just moving making hand signals and gestures to him to like get away from us we were two girls and she was making gestures like hey leave us leave us alone and he was still singing. We're like, what kind of harassment is that? It doesn't matter if you have the nicest voice on this earth, but stay away from us. Why can't women be safe wherever they find themselves? Women are generally not safe. How much more being a black woman in the white person's land and having all these things happening? And so we just like, and then all of a sudden he just went 
evil on us and started insulting us calling us the b word and stuff i was like oh you are here somebody just annoyed me and i need someone to vent on me and my friend we told him our mind and he also told us his mind he was also snapping his fingers in the air i'm like you guys are so so feminine and we just told him so we insulted him yes we this him we this him we this him because you don't do something we don't like and when we are telling you you just start to insult us like who does that that we this him this him this him <laughs> and when I finished, I really felt good. I was like, ah, I feel so good. <laughs> so we told him our mind and then we we left. Like, anytime I walk around Blaha, I walk around Blaha like an angry person. I walk around Blaha with a serious face because people generally take people for granted, especially black women, I would say, around that area. Now, another thing, an annoying thing I like to talk about is there's this gentleman. He's a, hmm, this gentleman i don't know but i think he may have issues each and every time he sees me he's like we're beautiful each and every time we are beautiful i think that's the only english word he can say each and every time we are beautiful each and every time we are beautiful and then one day i have this female group on facebook i'm on and somebody actually came to talk about him posted his picture and asked that she's being harassed by this man but do we experience such a thing come and see the comments more than so many of us more than 15 women came and they were like yes 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 he's always saying i beat for then stuff 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 i was like wow and even that week before the post was on i had met him and also gave my peace of mind like yes he's always saying these things and people were talking about how they told him off and stuff and actually today i i saw him yesterday no it wasn't yesterday sometimes this week I think he does that to black women specifically, really. Maybe he has a fetish for black women or he's... I think he actually has an issue. I think he has maybe some mental issues going on. So, today, I, the last time, I think last, late last week or early this week, I saw him and then he was like, you're beautiful. I just frowned my face and then I just, I, I just started running. Like, I just wanted to make a situation. I just started walking fast and I left him. And today, I saw him again. And then he was like, he was about to talk and I was like, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. And then I, I heard him going and he was like, why are you so effing, he used the F word, why are you so effing arrogant? I didn't even mind him when I left. And so I've made up my mind, next time I see him, I'm going to tell him off and tell him off. Like, why can't a woman be safe? Can't a woman be safe walking around? Ha! Huh. Anyway, and then the last but not the least has to do with just you being on the streets and people walking up to you and asking if they can take photos of you, mainly photographers. I like to take photos so usually I don't mind. I've had instances where people just walk up to me. Sometimes you see them with a photo photo cam hey, camera. <laughs> you see them with a the camera along their necks and then they're like, Can I take you a picture? Sometimes I'm in a good mood. So I'm like, okay, yes, can I take me a picture? And sometimes I exchange or I take their email so that or we exchange contacts so that I can take their email my my picture back but there's been an occasion where the picture didn't come back and there was also one time one sunday i wasn't in a good mood i just was taking a stroll sitting in a bench somewhere on sunday and then this man just came which is you could see his camera actually looked like he was a professional cameraman maybe for a news agency or something he was like can i take you ca- a camera hey <laughs> can i take you a picture i was eating i wasn't there i was like no i'm sorry i'm not interested so that thing can also be like mm, it's good and not good, especially meeting me in the streets and asking me to take a camera. Uh, I don't think you want to be scouting for someone who you take their pictures of. Uh, I'm almost 30. Yes, I have grown. I'm not a 16 year old. I can just scout on the street and tell you to spam on What do you need my picture for? Because I'm a black girl and you think, oh, this is good for people to you. See me on the street. No. I really admire people who go through the right channels. Maybe they know someone I know and they're like, oh, I'd like to take a picture of you for my portfolio. Fine. But I don't see me walking in the streets. Maybe I'm down, I'm unhappy, I'm eating, and they're like, can I take you a picture? You don't do that. So these are some of the weird occurrences, random occurrences, and sometimes annoying occurrences that have occurred to me in Hungary if you're listening to this let me see what you think about it if you enjoyed this video kindly like comment share subscribe leave a comment below about what you think i'm overreacting or i just have every right to react the same way i'm doing once again my name is naya bolly yabby's own is the name of the channel if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe leave a comment and all the good stuff thank you so much for watching until then it's siasta